Hello there, YouTube and Blimp uh, TV. Blimp dot TV. Yeah, that too. Uh, I thought I might show you some news, some information about uh, Ubuntu, uh, Fedora, and some other latest distributions coming out for dist from Distro Watch and so forth. We'll keep you up to date, quick as I can. We're going to be not belong on this, but today we're going to show you some good information. If you're a Magic Ubuntu fan user, but you hate Unity, I mean you really hate Unity, Gnome Shell Remix 12.04 is available for downloads. Basically, uh, it's unofficial, but uh, this guy, maybe some person in the world, prefer to make a remaster assist. Crap. Uh, remaster assist um, version of Gnome Shell. Uh, basically, it'll come with uh, Light DM, but it doesn't come with the Ubuntu Unity Creator. So basically, you're not getting like Ubuntu 12.04 Unity lookalikey thingy me bobby it's more customizing to more like JTK, gtk sort of theme um for me preferentially pref pref uh unity is a bit crap a little bit crap i have to be honest uh because it runs on compares and compares in my case is outdated don't get me wrong you know compares is great but it's very outdated uh if gnome shell is practically becoming like compares the people are probably might using more GNOME Shell. They can get wobbly windows and three-dimensional desktop and all these great features you can get with Compares. You had with Compares. I think that you know GNOME Shell would be a better uh, option over Compares. But that's up to the user. I think Compares works pretty much even uh, much better in KDE than it does in GNOME. And I'll be honest, that's a fact. Um, next thing I thought I might show you is. Uh, new BSD release of OpenBSD 5.1. Uh, BSD Unix, um, you know, it's never been my type of cup of tea distribution, but you know, for you it might be. But you know, I think that BSD for me, BSD has always been a great distribution, and to be fair, it is more open than Linux um, by by. But I think because Linux runs by uh, is open by source codes while. Unix BSD has been open even more than by source codes. They don't have the left uh, left co copyright no. left copyright or no copyright copy left co co clause whatever thing. So they don't have that of that in there. So it's all more more open in Unix than it does in the Linux. I'm not going into that anyway. But you know, if you want to try BS uh, open BSD, you know, try that. For new users, I would recommend PS PCBSD. But anyway, Fedora 18. Linux will be a, sp a spherical cow? Spherical cow. Spherical cow. Wow. We've got another name called cow in the name of the Linux distribution. If you're a Fedora 18 uh, user, you may be interested in this. They've decided to keep it to the beefy to the cow's names. Instead from beefy miracles to spherical cow. I think maybe this guy just likes beef too much, I don't know. But this guy has found out that beef has just come from cows. I mean, I think he did, because he keeps thinking about cows. Why? I didn't know, I thought Indians don't like cows, and you know, not like they don't like cows, cows, they just don't like eating the cow. They, 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 their religion tells them not to. I don't know. Anyway, I enjoyed. Ice cream sandwich. Gingerbread shows guide the in the latest version of numbers. So if you're a person who loves Android, I mean super Android user, turns out that uh, four point the four point oh versions beats over three point one, three point two, and three point oh's. Compare them all together, there's bigger percentage in the four point oh market. But soon, if I would say that ice cream sandwich will gain a lot more better market because they're in the mar in the mobile market. Because you could get more with the mobile market if Android, you know, with Android 4.0 because we're in the mobile and the tablet. So they're going to make a lot more than they did previously. Um, but personally, I think that they're doing quite well at uh, 4.0. Uh, I think they'll, they'll think soon enough in the future they will be taken over by two, take over 2.3's uh, case anyway, when you'll be like like five five percent of the market share and 4.0 will be bigger percentage. And then the 5.0 version comes in, it's like whoa. We've just we've just we've just beat beating 4.0. Now we've got beat 5.0. I 
with beat 4.0 or 5.0. I don't know. Dead Eye is going to look cool, what it's going to act, but you know, sounds cool. And uh, Kubuntu news. I ain't told anybody about this on my videos, which is quite sad. Kubuntu has been taken over by Blue Systems. You may have never heard Blue Systems, and I don't think you will. But Blue Systems is a financially backer for uh, Kubuntu because Canonical's lost stop support for Kubuntu, so you're not getting the they're not getting the funding anymore. Um, they've got no plans of changing uh, the way of Kubuntu how it works. Uh, they're going to keep Kubuntu how it is. They're going to carry on what they do, what the job, and so forth. They're going to stick to what they are. So basically, no change, no plans to change Kubuntu at all. They're just going to carry on giving the funding to Kubuntu and says, you know, here's a bit of funding, you carry on what you do, you do best. And that's basically what Blue Systems has just done, basically. I think that's it. Um, please check me out on the uh, Linux Combat community for the latest distribution, videos, and so forth. And for, uh, <laughs> for the live chats and, and so forth, come back to come to the Linux Combat Live which is basically the blimp down in the description so if you're interested in getting the uh, latest information in Linux Comeback uh, and, and Linux Comeback Live community for the latest distribution, the latest information you need to know, I even have developers out there in the world who are trying to get onto DistroWatch, can't get into DistroWatch, so they come to me and I advertise their distributions which is very nice for them to do that because DistroWatch is a bit old and old fashioned, they're not updating as they should, should be um, I think that they should update a lot quicker in my respects to Distro Watch, but you know, good idea with them, but you know, I'm keeping it free and I'm keeping it open so people can have a look. Um, you know, it should be a link and then the version of the distribution that's been released and you can go to the website, find information about the distribution and go, go, yay, found out something. If you're interested, come and join us. We're not like, we don't buy, like us on the uh, screencast. There, thank you for your time. I think that will be it.